Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 7 of this MS Estonia tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the propellers, the rudders, uh, the stern stairs and uh, the focusal deck details, that's the one. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully things will go a bit smoother than they did the uh, other day or yesterday when I recorded part 6. Basically the saying goes, prepare to, or fail to prepare, then prepare to fail, which is what I've done. But anyway... <coughs> what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? We're gonna head down to the back end of the ship, and we're gonna start with the stair uh, staircases that go on the back end of the superstructure. So we'll fly around to the back. So the main deck at the top here, which is well basically the boat deck, and then you got this back wall, a uh, very large back wall now of the superstructure. And just get rid of the uh, stone slabs because they're not needed anymore. So we'll get rid of those, and we'll start on the right hand side. So along the back wall here, you're gonna build up a few columns. You're gonna build up. A row of six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, two like that. So this basically creates a flange or a support pillar if you like. So do the same on the other side. We go six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two like that. So there we go. That is the uh, flanges slash support beams like that. Right now onto the next arty farty job. Is to leave a two block gap. So you got the um, the the, uh, the row of two here, and to the side you're gonna leave a two block gap, and then you're gonna build a line which is uh, 19 wide. So it's, that's the first block: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And once it gets to the other end, at that row of nine, that line of 19, you should have another two block gap at the other end. So it should be symmetrical, and it should look something like that. So that's that portion done there. And then what you want to do is increase that to two high. So it's two rows of 19, basically. So like so, like that. And then on top of that, you want uh, a row of 17. So leave a, leave a, a single block and then start the 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, like that. And then you want uh, a row of 15. So on the top, you leave a single block and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there you go. That is basically the, uh, well it's not a, a balcony, it's just uh, an area where the stairs will go. Um, so what you want to do is find the centre block then, which is that one. And then you just want to add the floor. So behind it, you go from the, uh, uh, the deck, or go from behind this to deck level so if you remove the blocks at that level you'll see that the deck is inside there so you can see the deck is like that so hang on, get rid of that put the wall back so basically we're just adding an extension of that deck to this bit here and so that's the the center line and then the deck itself is going to be 11 long uh, well width ways so that's five either side so one two three four five that way and then one two three four five that way and increase the width to two wide or lengthwise whichever way because you can see it's um, two wide and then 11 long like that and then for the stairs you go to the sides here and just add stair blocks in either wood or quartz or whatever material you plan on using and just add stairs down to deck level like so and then you got the stairs there on that side and then we do the same on the other side Got, oh, hang on, got a stair there, 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 oh, hang on, there and there. And there we go, there's the stairs all added. So that is how that should look. So it's, um, it's basically, like I said, it's an extension of the uh, deck inside, but uh, it's basically access. So if you walk through here, you go up here, and then once you get up here, you can start adding doors and windows. So we'll, we'll cut a hole there for a pair of doors. And then we do the same on the other side, we cut a hole there for a pair of doors. Like so, and then we can start adding windows. So I'll add uh well I'll leave it leave a single block gap and add a pair of, a window there, a window there, and a window there. Same on the other side, add the window, window, and window. Like that. And then you can add a couple in the middle as well. So a window there and a window there. So there we go, that is that back wall done there. You can add a couple of windows down below as well, or you can add, you know, a couple of doors. Add a, a door there and there, so you've got access. You come out this way, go up the stairs, and then you go through the door up there. So do the same on the other side. Door, 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 
in there and that is how that should look so and then if you want to it's up to you if you want to you can add some doors and windows to this wall here as well so I think I, I just had a couple so put a window there a window there and a window there same on the other side roughly the same place not quite symmetrical but uh, you know it would do um, actually I'll correct it because it looks shit damn it right so we'll just replace the windows in the right place and there we go so about five uh, six windows sorry across the back there so that is the back portion of the superstructure pretty much done um, but we you can add one more thing which is normally something I leave to the very end but uh, we'll add the handrails across this beam uh, across this part here so you got uh, some something to hold on to so you got the stairs here you got uh, a lookout over here oh, falling over it and then you can just go in here into a very dark room but uh, once you've furnished it it should look alright but that is what that is for so that's the staircase is done there and uh, it don't look too bad so yeah that is the uh, the story of that done. Um, all right, just going to read my notes and work out what I'm supposed to be doing now. It's the propellers. Now we're going to drop down to the underside of the ship, and we're going to need some light under it. So I'm going to get a uh, a night vision thingy. What's it? And have a slurp on that. And there we go. All right, so then we're going to add the propellers now. The propellers are yellow. So I'll get some yellow wool. Right, so the propellers are going to be on two propeller shafts. So we'll start on the right-hand side, and I'll, then I'll copy the same one to the right. So we've got um, the centre section here of the stern, uh, which is basically this block here. So we'll go from this block here, which is the next one along. We're going to count back 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So this, this one here is the 11th block. And then from there, you're going to build down to, in the same colour as the uh, rest of it, and then down to again, and then one, like that. So it's basically a, well, no, it's down to, down to, one. So it's basically sort of a, a step section down. And then you add a block forward, or back rather, and then you build forward to connect the shaft to the hull. So just build forward, like so, to connect it to the ship. And then the same with the next row, just add a single line and then connect it to the hull like that and then the next same with the next row up like that so you got a propeller shaft that looks something like that and then for the propeller itself I do apologize once again but it'll be a swastika so I put a block in the middle and then two up one across two across one down two down one across and then two across and one up and then a single one for the single bullet shaped in the middle uh, so that's the propeller. If you can make a better design, you know, a, a, a more propeller-like uh, design, then by all means do so. I'm just doing this out of laziness, really. Um, so yeah, that is one side of the propellers done. And I shall do the same on the other side. So what was it? It was 11 back from here. When it's okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We go down 2, and then down 2. Dog's barking, so I'm going to do a jump cut. <laughs> right, back again. Um, what was I doing? Uh, oh yeah, so it's da down two, down two, one. And then one that way. And then build forward to connect to the hull. Bloody dog. Alright, there we go. And then same with the next row. Blend in there, and then one to the next row there. Right, and then the same again, swastika. Two blocks that way, or one for now. And which way does I build it? I built it facing that way. So we do the, it's the same, but the opposite direction. So a two up, one across that way, two across, one down. Two down, one across, and then two down, uh, two across and one up. And then the center block. And there we go, there's the propellers both done. And uh, like I said, I do apologise for them um, for them being swastikas, but you know it's, you can adjust it, you can design it any way you wish. Uh, this is just sheer laziness because I've not really done anything with the propellers. Um, so yeah, that is the propellers done. Now for the rudders, which are, there are two of them, 
they're going to be in line with the propellers so we'll go from we'll go from the line of the propellers but along the roof of the ship so from the center block of the propeller which is that one just look up straight up to the bottom of the ship and then go all the way back to the tip or the, all the way back to the end of the ship and then one forward which is there now for the the rudders themselves they're going to be uh, I can't remember how many blocks there are they are two rows of six so six down so from the end one block forward and then go one two three four five six or basically down to the ground like that and then another six in front of that so one two three four five six so basically we're now building closer towards the propeller uh, and then the next row is five one two three four five and then in front of that three one two three like that so that is the rudder sort of thing um, it'll be on sort of a spindle but so that is that one done there and it like I say it is in line with the propeller um, like so and we'll do the same on the other side in line with the propeller in line with the center of it and then along the roof one forward and then six down one two three four five six next row uh, next row along one two three three four five six and then five one two three four five and then three one two three like that so there we go that is both propellers and both rudders done not brilliant but they will do yeah not too bad so there we go that is that all done uh, so now the next job to do is to read my notes and work out what to do um, right so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go down to the bow and uh, we'll finally start the forecastle deck details uh, which is basically bollards and winches and things uh, for lifting up the, the bow um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to do a, a jump cut and wait for the, uh, the spiral business to disappear so I shall return in a few minutes so back in a moment okay back again now what we're going to do move on to the uh, forecastle deck which is of course the uh, deck on the top of the bow and we're going to add the details there so before we start or well, to start with rather we're going to use some uh anvils where are the anvils are they in this one that one did that one yeah there we are we use anvils we use anvils for the bollards so i'll put a couple of sets of bollards in uh i'm just going to place them at random but uh i'll put them in pairs anyway so i put a pair there and then a few uh, a couple a bit further along and then a couple a bit further along so i haven't got them in a specific place just sort of uh randomly along like that so i put three pairs in i do the same on the other side so three a pair there uh a pair damn it wrong one there i think no not there next one along there yep and then one uh, about is it there? Nope, it's there. Right, so there we go. There, <laughs> there's the three pairs of ballads, and then for the next job, we want to add the sort of I'll say what it is is uh, the winch mecha uh, mechanical winch for uh, raising and lowering the bow. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's sort of um uh well, I'll say it's an H pattern. It's not really an H pattern. I'll show you what I mean. It's on. <coughs> excuse me it's on the uh, prototype and it's a very simple thing it's, you can see that it's sort of a was it a star destroyer sort of thing <laughs> sort of a, a square with wings on it so the, the square is five by five and you got wings at the side um like so and then there's a couple of other bits either side of that so let's fly back to the other side and what we're going to do we're going to go roughly the middle of the of the uh, forecastle, so I'd say roughly about here, sort of directly between the two middle sets of bollards, roughly about here. So it's yeah, I say it's directly between bollard and bollard, but I will measure it between the uh, the wall and the, and the thing there. So I go from there to the wall and it's it's a 17th block forward of the main super stretcher so that's where we'll start it so i put our center block there and we just build two that way and then two forward and back and then we just fill in the corners to make it a, a five by five square like so, so you've got the five by five like that and you want uh two out to the side 
like so, and then one, two, three forward, and one, two, three to the back, and the same on the other side. One, two, three, and one, two, three like that. Um, now on the prototype, I think I made these one block wider, but you can make them one block wider if you want. I think I do the same, so I make them just one block wider like that. The same on the other side, one block further out. Like so, so you got that design like that. So that is basically the uh, the mechanics for the um, the winch, uh, or the winch for raising and lowering about. Or it could be just the hinge. I think it's probably more likely the hinge uh, for the, uh, the the bow when it opens up because it's it's an open bow door, of course, it being a car ferry or a, a row row ferry for like. Um, and then what you want to do is behind these parts here, you want to add a couple of. Um, I imagine these are the winches, I suppose. You get three that way, and then two like that. No, three, sorry. So you get three back, three across, and then on top you go two, and then two that way. So it's, it's nothing really special. It's just sort of a corner thing like that. So do the same on the other side. Two back from the end there, on the third block rather, and go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, one, two like that. And those are the winch sort of things like that. And then. What these bits are I'm going to be building next, are I have no idea, but uh, we're going to add them anyway. So behind the uh, straight edge of the uh, of the winch thing here, go one, two, three blocks back, and go one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Don't know what they're for, but uh, they were on the model that I was looking at. So we go one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. So there we go. That is majority of the details done on the Vauxhall. <laughs> And there's, there's a few handrails to add as well, so I'll add a few handrails uh, using iron bars. And these go across from the center line of the uh, the, the hinge here. Is build a little thing, uh, uh, iron bars there and there. One to the back, another one to the back, and then one, two, three, four out to the side. So it's basically uh, the line of the hinge. And we do the same on the, the other side. Go okay, back uh, across two, one, two. Uh, back like that and then one two three four across like that and then you have your two uh, iron bars basically lining out the hinge of the, uh, the open bow so that is that pretty much done so there are you can add a few more details if you want to I mean this is what basically all I've done for the prototype model but you can add uh, a lot more details like anchor chains um, um, a few other things I mean there's plenty to do but uh, I haven't really thought this one through, so uh, it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to copy it the same, then by all means do so, but uh, that's pretty much it. There will be a bit more detail to add to the side of the forecastle. There's a few flanges on the side, but they'll be added uh, probably in the next video, if I remember, but uh, we'll see. All right, so the next job we want to do is just to add a few windows to this front wall of the superstructure here. Uh, so we're going to go to the far side here of the, uh, the indentation here, so we'll add a, a window here. In the two block gap, we add a pair of windows. We'll do the same on the other side, add a window here, two block gap, window, and window. So you've got basically six windows across the front, like that. Uh, and in the middle, you can add a door or whatever. So I'll put a door here, but it's not really needed. <laughs> that colour block's still there. That was a marker for the uh, superstructure. Alright, and then. The next job we want to do is just add the last set of handrails for this portion of the ship is across these front overhangs here. So just add the handrails to these bits here. There should be a door here really, but uh, I haven't really added one. Well, I think there should be a door, I'm not sure really. But uh, we'll just add the handrails around these bits. And that will be those bits done there. So that is the forecastle deck. <sighs> Details done there. Excuse me. And... Um, that's pretty much it for the forecastle. Um And then the final job for today, we're going to go up to the top of the superstructure now, on the front portion of it. And you've got these stairs on the front here, which we added in previous videos. And what we're going to do, we're going to add another row of stairs behind them. But we're going to go from the edge, so from the sides, we'll add a stair there. And on the other side, we'll add a stair as well on the other side. So add a stair there. So you can see it's, it sort of doubles up the stair height. And then from these end stairs, you're going to leave a two block gap and then start the stairs again. So you can see you've got a stair, two block gap, and then the stairs again. So do the same on the other side. So you've got the first stair and then 
two block gap and then the stairs and then you can build them all the way across the front of the superstructure like so and it should look something like that so it's all doubled in height for that but to these bits in here will be added with oh, actually I'll add the iron bars now so we'll add an iron bar in there like that it's a shame it doesn't connect but well never mind I suppose what we can do is go from the back and go across like that I still don't look very good does it so really there should be handrails in there but it, they don't connect so um, if you want to add these handrails but if you really want to make it look proper then just add stairs there instead um, so uh, if it, it depends on what you want to do other stairs or the handrails I'll, I'll just remove the handrails altogether and just put the stairs all the way across um, and you don't have to worry then so there we go that's that and then what we do we add on the on the sides we go one two three four five blocks of white and then we add the, the stairs there like so or what you can do is um, well, I was thinking about going to the stairs the next level down but we won't do that for now so add one two three four five blocks to the side and then a stair behind it like that so it sort of steps down again so I do the same on the other side add one two three four five and then a stair there like that and then the rest of the deck will be with uh, uh, iron bars for the handrails so that is pretty much that so we've got quite a bit done with the propellers the steps on the stern the focusal deck details the rudders and quite a bit done actually <sighs> excuse me um so yeah that's pretty much it for today the final part which will be the next part hopefully i think it may be the, the final part it might not be it depends on the amount of details and things i can do in the time i have um but we'll see so the next part part eight may or may not be the final part like i said so that will focus on the lifeboats which go down the sides um smaller details iron bars all the way around the ship and things and also the finishing touches to the uh the upper portion of the uh, platforms up here up on, on the mast so there's a mast to go on the top and the other portions of the uh, details as well so that would be for uh then uh, so yeah that's pretty much it for today so this is rich signing off logging off and disappearing and i shall return in part eight so uh bye for now